We get to share what we love with the world. We get to share what we love with our fans. We get to share what we've learned with the next generation. This sport has given me so much that I feel like it's my turn to give it back. When's it gonna be your turn? Now, I've been on some big peaks, but nothing like this. This is gonna humble us for sure. I don't think there's anything small up here. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Dan, cameras are ready. Okay, Tommy boy. Make a sound, make a sound when you come My dad wasn't too happy. He didn't think it was a very good choice to become a ski bomb. I just knew deep down that this is what I wanted to do. I didn't care what anybody said. I was gonna do it anyway. Next thing I know, we're leaving tracks in places that had never been skied before. So much work had to go into hosting a World Cup. I couldn't believe that that large an event was happening right here where I grew up. Seeing the power that these women are creating in the turns, it's something that I want to feel to the very end of my days. They were having a pretty low snow year, and as soon as we got there, it was like three feet of blower pow. You have an idea that it's gonna look like the postcards, and when you show up, it actually looks like that. It's rocky, it's gnarly, it's cold, it's windy. It breeds real skiers. I don't know what else to say. It's just really the best playground you can dream of. There's nothing like this in the world. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot? Yeah. Oh. Every single run is like a flashback to my childhood. This is where I wanted to be when I was 12 and 13, watching Chrysler flash the thing. It's, it's hard to believe, you know? Where, where, where does the time go? You know, every generation kind of takes it to a whole nother level, and that's the future of skiing. And we got a ways to go still. <laughs>